Dan, D-A-N-L-A-C.com. And these are of this yogurt culture. And then we just drop that into our are jar. Are you half a lentil for each one? Yes, but I'm going to do something else with the other one. What do you, so, and then you just stir that in. Stirring in the culture into the milk. And then put your lid on. Then put your lid on, repeating what you're saying. <laughs> and then the other thing that you can do, this is our yogurt that we had in the refrigerator from last week. So you can also, for your culture, just take a tablespoon of yogurt. Tablespoon like of the yogurt. And mix that right in. So well, that's what I do usually if I still have yogurt left. Then I don't have to actually use up more culture. Then we'll look at both when we're finished and see that there's no difference between the two when it's finished. So once you have some culture, you don't need to actually buy it again if you still have a little left from your previous uh, batch. That's right. So this little bit that she's given me has lasted a really long time because I usually still have some yogurt left from the week before. Okay, so now we have two quart-sized jars um, of milk heated up to 120 degrees. Well, heated up to 180, that we cooled down to 120. <laughs> And one we added a little tiny pinch of the culture, about the size of half a lentil, that we got at D-A-N-L-A-C, danlock.com. And by the way, you can also get thermometers there, dairy thermometers, they have equipment. And also the cheesemaking.com also has thermometers, and they also have yogurt cultures. Um, so we've got the two here, and what are we going to do now? Now I'm going to take these two jars and I'm going to put them in the cooler and wrap towels around them so that they stay Can nice see how you're doing and that? warm. So I just put them in there and wrap, and wrap them in towels. So the two are bottom in the bottom and they have towels in there. And then I just Are put, those the good bath towels? <laughs> Didn't I just buy those? <laughs> and then I put more towels on top. So you're and packing the it in your bath towels. <laughs> so you're here. They are now. Uh, so you're uh, so you're packing them in the warmer. Yep. <laughs> Formerly known as a cooler. It's a cooler. <laughs> and then I usually actually take this back and put it in an out of the way place because it needs to not be moved for the next 8 to 12 hours. So while you, it's, you um, could put it in a closet yogurt. or put it somewhere where, yeah, it's not going to move. Um, right. Okay, so great. So that's great. So we're all set and we're going to take that now and put it someplace um, where it um, won't move. And then when are we going to be seeing you next? And when it's finished? When it's finished, which I'm just going to leave it until tomorrow morning. So. Um, okay. And we're going to talk more about um, how to use it and what you use it for um, after that. All right. All right. Hi, Kimberly. Hello. It's the next morning, and we are going to take a look at our cooler here and uncover our yogurt. Yes, the mystery of the yogurt. See if it really worked. Because I don't know. I don't believe you. It's going to really turn into yogurt. I mean, that's like magic. All right, so let's open them up. Might need a spoon, huh? Mm -hmm. So when you take the jars out, they'll still be a little bit warm. And the cream has kind of risen to the top. So then you have to stir it up. So the cream has risen to the top, and, and um, she's stirring it it's up. It's kind of a layer of <laughs> cream. So um, the book says to leave the yogurt in the cooler for 8 to 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And um, you can leave it longer, just depending on how sour you like it. Okay, so that was 8 to 12 hours, and you leave it longer? Um, just depending on how sour you like it, you can experiment with it and see what you like. I, what I, do you do? Um, I was doing 8 hours for a while because I don't like it so sour, but then one night I forgot about it and left it overnight, and it actually was great in the morning. So I've been leaving it longer even than 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So it's really just an experiment for yourself to find the so let's time. See, that you got a nice you creamy like. yogurt there. Yep. Look at that. Wow. And how about the other one? Now remember one of these was <laughs> made with the culture from the previous batch and one from uh, new culture. 
And to me, they look kind of the same. They're, yep, they're, pretty much the same. That's great. So you can do either one. Um, if you're going to use a yogurt that you've bought at the store as your starter culture, you want to find one that actually has some life in it. And I was recently just at a Susan Weed workshop and she was saying that her favorite yogurt is actually Dan and yogurt of all things. So. Really? So not one of those uh, like Nancy's Organics or something, but actually just regular old Dan and. <laughs> yeah, just the plain Dan and yogurt. She said that one, um, she has a friend who is a scientist, you know, and he looked at it under the microscope and that's the one he actually found some life in. <laughs> Nancy's and those were not actually very live. So that so that leads us into a good discussion here about why we're making this yogurt ourselves and not just buying it in the store. <laughs> um, well, obviously it's a little less expensive because you can buy milk and just put a little culture in it and it involves a little work. But um, the health benefits, because we know that we have lots of live cultures here. Right. Right. And so eating um, live foods, like fermented foods, um, is really good because it increases the healthy bacteria that are in your gut. And um, those bacteria, their job is to take the nutrients that come out of the food after they've been digested and deliver them to the proper places in your body. So if you don't have all of the right bacteria, then the the nutrients might not get delivered to the right places so it's great to have a nice healthy population of those in your gut and so um i really like the yogurt because it's a food that my kids will actually eat that's fermented um as long as i put some berries and honey or some kind of fruit and honey in it they both will eat this yogurt and um before I started making my own yogurt, we were buying the little yogurts from the store, but those have lots of sugar in them, so it's great to be able to get away from that store-bought yogurt for the kids and give them this natural yogurt. Right, so you can take this yogurt and you, I've, we, I've seen you mix it with all kinds of stuff like uh, peaches that we've canned. Mm -hmm. um, I also canned some blueberries and those are very good in it. Um, you could defrost fruit and put it in it. Yeah, you defrost can, your frozen blueberries. Uh, I will, uh, what if you want sweeteners added? What kinds of sweeteners are, are healthier? Um, honey or maple syrup are probably the ones that we use the most to sweeten our yogurt. Okay, so um, like local honey if we can find it and, and maple syrup. Um, we have some organic maple syrup. Um, so awesome. So alright, so um, there's one other thing that you can do with this yogurt and um, well you have this every day for breakfast or have some of this um i don't have it every day right now so uh -huh. most more in the summertime right. i tend to eat it every day but um probably twice a week twice a week and one of these you'll eat right and the other we're going to turn into yet another fun product correct yes we're going to make one of these jars into yogurt cheese <laughs> so uh once again uh, what are you going to do with this other one here well, the second jar I'm going to make into a simple yogurt cheese by straining it through cheesecloth, and we'll show that on video as well. Um, and it just makes kind of a soft, sort of cream cheesy like All right. cheese. And Haley really likes that, and John really likes that, so John doesn't eat as much of the yogurt, but he eats the yogurt. I like the yogurt, I just forget about it a lot right. until I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's I, all different ways. I do love the yogurt the... cheese and putting it on crackers and stuff. So we'll take a look on how to make that next. We love the yogurt.